y'all. I'm naturally Curla, and welcome to my channel. And if you hear my dogs, that's because my mom is feeding the stray cats in my neighborhood, and my dogs feel disrespected whenever a cat, a person, or a human being talks to my mom. I have a German Shepherd and a Bull Massive, so you know how big, large dogs can be overprotective, and they're both males, so it makes it worse. So you will hear them do their little cameos in the back every now and then. I apologize. In this video, I'm going to be using the products from Cantu, and although I will say they did work, y'all, I straight did not read the directions for this Curl Stretcher Cream Rinse. It says Curl Stretcher Cream Rinse. Rinse rinse why your girl just did not rinse her hair she was just like okay read it all and just applied it and kept it moving just totally forgot that's what happens when you have too many things on your mind so this is the anti-shedding gel and both products do elongate your hair they together they work as a really good combination now you know the funny thing is is i haven't used Cantu products in a long time because Gosh, it's just not that deep, y'all. Just let it go. I'm so sorry. Um, I've tried to record about three times, and they just keep barking every time I record. I, one time it was the mailman, then somebody passed the house. At this point, I was like, I'm, I'm not even about to play them games anymore. So anyway, okay, I haven't used Cantu products in a long time because back in the day, it felt like their ingredients had changed, and it wasn't working on my hair anymore. So I had kind of stopped. I had stopped using, not kind of that, stopped using them. So, in this video, I decided to give them a try to see if it really does help minimize shrinkage. And you know what I'm curious about is that um, I was very light-handed on the back part of my hair with the cream rinse. Like, I wasn't as heavy-handed. Maybe because I had more, um, more hair in the back than I do in the front because my layers are growing out. So, towards the front part, it started to flake. And it felt like a bit, it felt like I had product in my hair because it wasn't washed out. But towards the back, it absorbed my hair, absorbed the product great. Like I had no issues. It was fluffy. It felt good. But the products together did cause flaking because I did not rinse out the curl stretcher cream. Because you're supposed to only leave it in your hair as direction, say, for about, what, three to five minutes. And then you rinse it out with cool water. That's why following the directions is so important. Sometimes we'll get products and we'll think, okay, it's just a leave-in conditioner or it's just a curl, a curl cream or whatever. And in reality, it's not. Like, we just don't be reading. And we think, okay, it doesn't work on our hair. Like, it's the product, but we could just be using the product wrong. Some products, like some shampoos require you to wash your hair in cold water. Some products require you to use a small amount, and a lot of us are heavy-handed, and we'll use a lot of amount. Especially when you find you have fine hair, you really have to take consideration how much product you're going to use and um, put into your hair because it can easily weigh your hair down. So that was my mistake with the product. I will try this product combination again the right way and see if it gives me the same stretch. It'll be so funny if I do not get the same elongated stretch with the product rinsed out versus it being in my hair. That would be hilarious. But anyway, so I slept in this overnight. I'm using the clips like I did in my twist out video because I feel like the, the clips at the root of your hair does help stretch your hair. It helps just keep um, it from shriveling back up along with these two products being I can feel them being heavy. So I can see that that's how it was able to kind of weigh my hair down as well. So I was able to get stretched. I'm listening to something really funny. So you'll see me kind of laughing and smiling. I like to listen to stuff when I'm doing these videos because it's boring when you're in a room by yourself. Okay. Okay. So, but yeah, that's really it Um, on my thoughts on the product. The gel, you know, it's a gel at this point. I won't add anything about anti-shedding. I'm not sure. You know, it's a gel. I can't really say after one usage if it stopped my shedding, you know. Shedding, I have shedding just kind of comes with the territory when your ends are colored, and I'm 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 in need of a trim. But y'all, let me tell you what I did, y'all. So I was trying to style out, right, girl, and my rubber band got twisted up in there because I'm I I need to cut my nails down so I can actually style my hair properly. But my rubber band got stuck, so I took a uh, some scissors to just kind of. You know, cut the uh, rubber band out. And why I accidentally kind of razored, because I didn't cut my hair, but I 
Then cut it off, but I razored a couple strands off. Y'all, I just was like, you know what? I'm getting old. My eyes are already bad. I can't see that well. And I'm looking at my hair. I'm looking. And you know, the problem, when you get old, y'all, you get in my age, you start you start doing stuff, and then you start thinking about other things. Like, other things are popping in your head. Like, did I feed my dog? Did I give him his medicine? Because my, um, my German Shepherd is, has health issues. I'm like, did I, did, what did I do, what did I do today, what, what work needs to be done, I'm just like, start thinking about a lot of stuff at the wrong time, at the wrong, I don't know if I'm the only person that do that, but I'll start thinking about stuff at the wrong time, I'll start thinking about stuff when people are talking to me, I'll be like, gosh, did I do this, oh my god, I need to go do this, okay, wait, wait, wait. what was she talking about again, ah, oh, shoot, you know, like, ugh, I'm terrible at it, but anyway, I'm rambling, y'all know I'm a ramble as this goes on, because let's be honest, let's just chit chat. How y'all doing? <laughs> but yeah, so again, please read the directions of products. My slow behind just totally ignored the cream rinse. I just seen curl stretch and was like, oh, okay, you to be, whatever. Oh, I had my blonde moment and I ain't even a blonde. It would have made more sense if I still had my blonde hair to be having a blonde moment, child. Mm. So now I'm just going to unravel my hair. As you can see from the top part, you can see where it started to flake up because the product was supposed to be washed out. But the bottom braids, my hair was very shiny, was very defined. Um, I did not have any issues. My hair felt very soft. It didn't feel like it had anything in it. But yet those top three braids, for whatever reason, because I believe the front part of my hair is a lot more finer. And then it's a bit um, a different, a looser pattern for whatever reason towards the top front of my hair versus the back part of my hair. I have different patterns in my hair as is, but the top part of my hair I always can never handle too much product no matter what it is. And I forgot about that and I should have kept that into um, consideration when I was doing my hair. So, but I noticed that even though this was a product that was supposed to be washed out, my hair towards the back still felt great. And it didn't feel like I had product. It was only those three braids in the front that wanted to act stank. Okay, so yeah. Ooh, child, it's snowing. <laughs> you can see the flakes falling. Whew. Again, please read the directions. Anyway, 
I'm using a smaller pick because I want to be able to frame my hair a little bit better. I'm using the Cantu Edge Control to lay my edges. For I'm just keeping it all in the family. For whatever reason, this style came out reminding me of some kind of rocker. Maybe like I was a rocker kind of chick. Um, maybe because I was wearing all black, the red lipstick, the silver eyeshadow. I don't know what was wrong with me. Why I wanted to put on um, silver eyeshadow in the middle of the day. I think I'm having a midlife crisis. I can't even tell you what was going on in my head but I was like why not and I ended up not really liking this this particular style for whatever reason when I was taking pictures it just didn't come out right like it looked nice on camera video camera but when I was taking pictures it just made me feel like I was ugly like I just didn't like it you know I, I had my moments uh, maybe maybe it was too young of a look maybe it's just because my my hair is growing back so Trying again when you're growing out your um layers, trying to figure out how to style it's one thing, it's already hard enough to style it when it's shorter, but when it starts to grow out those awkward the shorter parts at the top starts to grow out. I don't I don't even know what to say sometimes. And then the back, y'all, I picked out too much in the back. So that's why I didn't show y'all the back. Like I picked out way too much hair in the back, child. But that's because how I did the braid, <laughs> my braids. I should have put more braids in the back instead of them being out to the side. I should have just did a side swept style. But I was like, nah, I, I got a vision and that vision didn't come out right. So to fix that vision, this is what we're doing right now. I'm going to do a simple some up some down look that style never goes wrong for me it's timeless it always works if it ain't broke don't fix it um i have a wedding that i'll be in next week so after that i will begin these nails off and just giving my hands like some some breathing time for a little bit and i'll get my nails you know redone shorter but just so I can try to um, do some of the styles like I think about in my head that come out great in my head but have not been coming out great on myself. And I'm just pinning my hair in different ways um, from the back, pinning it up, pinning up in here. Just taking a bobby pin and playing around with it so I can get it to the desired top up, top down look without doing a clip. I do it this way because it's less tension on the top part of my hair. My hair is very, very fine. Um, and it easily breaks. So if I do like ponytails, it gets too tight and it can cause some breakage. So to keep myself from having breakage, I just use the bobby pins. That way I can take it down at night and I can go to sleep. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and until the next time, bye.